This is a very, very exciting day for me. We are now installing the Mango M Panel Pro into my circuit breaker box here in my shop. My electrician's here and he's gonna be doing the work, but I wanted to show you the box before we installed it and then uh, have him explain to how this uh, M Panel Pro will automatically protect all the appliances and power them and all the circuits here when the grid goes down. This is David Gilmore, known as LDS Prepper, and to watch over 600 videos on emergency preparedness that can save your life on water filtration, growing food as if your life depends on it, uh, off-grid power, go to ldsprepper.com. Make sure you watch this video all the way to the end to get all the details on how to get this wired into your house and how you can have grid down power when you need it. What we have right now, we've got the EMP shield already installed in the box. All the appliances I have plugged into this circuit breaker are protected from an EMP tack or even lightning because the surge will go into this box. I have a discount code. It'll save you $50 off each unit at LDSPrepperStore.com. But I just want to show you that we have the EMP shield installed here. And I'll let them go ahead and get started in here. I just want to give you an idea of what the wiring looks like before we start and what the wiring looks like after we're done. We are done with the installation. Now when I say we, the electricians are done with the installation and I'm gonna let them explain exactly what they did, the process, the, the materials and everything. So go ahead and take it away. Okay, so as far as the unit goes itself, it only requires 30 amps, but your uh, wires that are required are gonna require a 40 amp circuit on your panel. That feeds two number sixes per the manufacturer's requirements. And they come down through into the feeder side of the panel itself. Uh, we have two legs, a 240 volt, a neutral, and a ground. Our branch circuits are individually fed back out, each having a neutral uh, for 120 volt. They come back all the way back through. Neutrals on neutral bus. Uh, our branch circuits, we took a, a four existing circuits from the panel. Uh, reworked them so they were fed back into the emergency system and for as far as cleaning up the panel we just moved the MP shield over to the other side of the panel that's why it's been shifted over over here um, as far as the electrical requirements for the system itself are six aug power suppliers and then all your branch circuits are needed to be in 12 gauge wire itself the supplies that we provided were uh, the breaker for the feeder for your panel uh, for us, it turned out to be a flexible metal conduit over to the panel itself and then we just needed some crimp rings to get onto this neutral bus itself and that's all that entails electrical components. So right now we've got this unit set up on four 120 amp circuits. Now if you wanted to set this up on a 240 volt well and then still have two circuits for inside your, outside your place, you would simply take each one, off of each phase, you can see here line one, line two. If you combine two of these together, you will get your 240 for your well. If you take them individually, you will get 120 for usable power inside your house or shop. And so right now over here, we've got four wires coming in off of the Mango M Panel Pro. And each of those wires is going to one of these to four separate circuit breakers, correct? Yeah, so right here we took out of the existing panel, we took circuits that were being fed and we repurposed them to our 12 wires going over to the unit itself. And each one of those legs is carrying 120 volt power back in usable power in the house. Now, if you wanted to power off a well off of this, you would just take uh, 240 volt off your well that's being supplied by your utility and you would combine it onto two of your powers. I'm going to come back over to the panel and they need to be one leg coming from L1, the other one coming from L2 to get your 240. If you come from L1 and L1, you won't get your 240, it'll be 120 volt. And then what we did, what's supplied with the M-Panel Pro are these four cables and they all go back to the Mango. These are the in and out cables, so the power out for the Mango is here and, and comes across going out from the Mango into this box. And then uh, it also recharges the mangoes by coming in here on the side. And there's the um, connection right here. Now, the M Panel Pro also comes with an E cable to connect both of these units together. But we found that uh, when we, we connect them both together, 
that uh, it doesn't charge when it's in backup mode. So right now we're in backup mode. You can see we are charging and we are pulling a load. Same, same thing over here. We're charging and we're pulling a load. And it shows it's in backup mode. And we're in backup mode here. Hopefully you can see that light's on. Uh, we're, we're gonna show you that we're actually running, getting 240 volt right here. That's on the uh, input or output? Output. Output, okay. And then 240 volt there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the main breaker. And you just saw just a flicker. We're still in backup mode. Obviously the power is not being charged on the mangle because there's no grid power coming in. So that just uh, represented a grid down situation. The grid comes back on. Okay, you heard the click. I don't know if you heard the click. We're still in backup mode. And now automatically, without having to do anything, it's recharging and powering everything here in the shop. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. My electrician mentioned that we did move the EMP shield. I highly, highly recommend having the EMP shield installed in the circuit breaker panel. Uh, there's a link at ldsprepperstore.com where you can get the a discount code and get $50 off for each unit. And that protects both these Mango Power E's and all the electronics in the shop from an EMP burst or a lightning strike. That'll protect it on the AC side, not the DC side. Okay, there it is, all set up and working just as I had hoped and expected. And I'm very, very excited. So uh, in summary, we did not, we do not have these plugged into the regular 15 amp outlets. Don't need that because it's being powered off the M panel Pro. And we did not need to connect the two inverters together with the E cable. By not using that E cable, we're able to charge the mangoes at the same time when the grid power is on. You can see those both being charged there. And so this is the final setup. This is how I'm going to have it set up here in the shop. So if the power goes off, I still have my security cameras. I have my lights. I've got my garage door openers. The refrigerator is running. This is exactly what I had hoped would happen. So I hope this video is helpful to you. Please make comments down below if it is, if you have any questions. If you need an electrician and you're in the Idaho Falls area, please uh, use the phone number on my website at ldsprepperstore.com to contact me so I can get you in touch with an experienced electrician who's already installed this and knows how to do it for you. He said it would take less than two hours to do a complete install on this and uh, have everything up and running and checked and in working for you. I have a complete review and several other videos on the Mango Power Station, the only power station company I do recommend and own. So please uh, check out the additional videos and full review of the, of the Mango Power E Power Station and go to ldsprepperstore.com for the best pricing. And when you purchase through me, you get direct unlimited lifetime support. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. And when the grid goes down in just nanoseconds, it just switches off uh, over automatically and you keep your refrigerator, your lights, your medical equipment, everything up and running that you have set up on the circuit breakers in your box.